Here's Pateas again. Loose ball finds Gonzalez. She's got to go on her own. There's an option to her left. Will she shoot? She does. Olga Carmona has scored for Real Madrid against all the odds. It's the home side who strike first in the first leg of the quarterfinals in the Champions League. Real Madrid won. Barcelona nil. Relax Barcelona the way that they play. They give the ball away and straight away there's a Real Madrid player on the ball. It's brilliant play there by Gonzalez. She holds it well. Terrific finish, and it's, the defending is not very good. I mean, they don't have to do that much defending Barcelona in the games that they do play. But when you do get the ball in front of goal, you have to make sure it's on target. And Carmona did that. She held the nerve cool in front of Panos and tucked it away. And Biel with the corner kick in. The low driven shot was bobbling into the hands of so they really do like to keep the ball but it has to have some purpose and we've seen that from them Olfer just trying to squeeze it away into a grab Giharo decided to shoot it was well the longer it goes on where you're now Bonmati need to turn and try and get a bit of space it was blocked in a way by Gos Galvez Ball in and there's Hermoso with a header. They're on target there, but just getting into their rhythm now. Barcelona, good ball into the box and just did enough there. Rodriguez just to ease Hermoso out, just using her body. Del Castillo. Doing some trickery to try and get away from a couple of the Barcelona players that were trying to stop her in her tracks. And that's a big challenge there from Bon Mati. And the first yellow card of the game. Now first corner for Barcelona in this match. Decent delivery in, but straight into the hands of Misa, and who holds on to that tightly? We need to have a... She is again, Aitana Bonmati looking to that ball over the top. Mateus was there, as was Wahabi. Now Del Castillo's being held back here. And another yellow card coming out, this time for Lele Wahabi. You can see the frustrations in him. Peter with the ball over the top. Well, Carmona is claiming her innocence, but she gets a yellow card on that. Free kick to Real Madrid, and it's Mario Zanosa to take this. Comes in, flicked on, Gonzalez is there, Gonzalez! Almost made it two for Real Madrid. The referee has called that. I think some of the Barcelona players were thinking that it might have been a handball. Looked like she controlled it with a chest, Lucy. Yeah, it did. It was a trip everywhere. Well, here she is again. Ball through to Gonzalez. Trying to take the touch straight away. Because she saw Panos was off her line. Here's Del Castillo. Barcelona, one ball over the top, beats the whole of the defence, and Panos really. Olfer. Well, the goalkeeper got a hand to it, Graham Hansen goes down. It looked like the ball was perhaps going out of play, but it ended up forced to save from Misa. Oh, I think Misa actually misjudged this. Touched it right into Graham Hansen. I'm not sure there was that much contact there. They were asking for a penalty. I don't think there's enough in that. Graham Hansen. Look at the last minute, realised that she got a little bit of a touch, but some good ball in from Rolf. Like I said, the goalkeeper's actually done quite. No. Penalty. Barcelona. Mateus steps up. 1 1. A perfect penalty from a perfect player. 
Alexia Puteas makes it all level for Barcelona. Barcelona was perfectly put away by Alexia Puteas. Yeah, she did well there, Puteas. She waited until the goalkeeper's looking at the goalkeeper making the move. It takes loads of steel to do that. Well, I think there's a so Alexia Puteas with goal number 23 of the season, number six in the Champions League. This is a nice ball through to Gonzalez. Just looking to lob the goalkeeper. They affected the confidence of Real Madrid and they can capitalize on that. Puteas through to Rolfe. Slides it across and Pina was there. And her shot was over the top. Obviously the missing Caldente which makes a difference but they haven't got that going really at all. Ball in and Mosso with the header. My well, first reaction to that was that it wasn't a foul. Claudia Pina. She's got plenty of options, decides to go for Graham Hansen. Gets away from Svava. Now Bomati. And Pina! 2 1 to Barcelona! They were knocking on the door for much of the second half. From Pina there, and just completely overloaded. They're just running out of steam. Real Madrid. Graham Hansen just picks the right pass in the end. Comes back to Pina. What a terrific finish that is. They tried to hold out and have more of the possession in this second half, more of the chances. Just needed that clinical edge, and that's exactly what Pina had. Has been second to a ball. Yellow card for Esther Gonzalez. Six yard box. Delivery comes in, not quite cleared away, punched away in the end by Misa and over the top onto the roof of the net. Action there from Misa, lots of bodies in there. And they ended up at the back of her net, but she reacted first. It's difficult for a goalkeeper in those situations. There will be Leon to take this. It was a decent ball into the box as well, kept alive too. Good save from Misa. And Mosso. Over the top here for Gihara. Now Alexia Puteas could make it 3-1. And she does. Her second goal of the evening. Barcelona extend their lead. 20 minutes or so. Just caught out, out, quite out of shape at the back there, Real Madrid. And as soon as Pateas gets it in front of goal there, there's only one outcome, one on one. She knows exactly what she's going to do. And that's hard on Real Madrid, but that just shows the quality of Barcelona and just keeping on going. And with that was the final action of this game. Real Madrid on top in the first half, but it was Barcelona who won the second half and inevitably won the game.